Oh my god. Okay, I couldn't be more excited right now. This is... This is gonna be... Fucking fantastic. Oh... Red Dead Redemption is one of my favorite games ever made. Um... Obviously, I'm very excited for Red Dead Redemption 2. And so I wanted to do this LP before the release of 2. Um, my throat's a little phlegmy, so I'm not super stoked on that. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Ugh. All right. Um, yeah, and... Like the backwards compatibility slash up res that Xbox has done with Red Dead Redemption is so amazing. Uh, I remember playing it when they first put it out. I just kind of started a new game again. And, you know, Rockstar has done something so special um, with Red Dead Redemption that it's just this world and this feel and every little thing about it is so perfectly tuned to what I want from an open world or a story. And, you know, I reinstalled it when they put out the backwards compatibility and I just got sucked back in. It was, I played another like eight to 10 hours. I did almost half of the game. Um, and it was just one of those nights that, you know, everything comes flooding back to you and the first time you played this game or the first time you experienced this story, how monumental it was and how game-changing the storytelling was. Um, it was it was just nuts. And there's a lot of things that have tried... Uh, there's, there's a lot of things that have tried to make a special experience that kind of miss little pieces here and there and it's not um it's it's never really firing on all cylinders and i think that even with a lot of the other rockstar stuff you think of like max Payne or gta um you know those, those some of those games are really really great but there was something about me and my relationship with red dead that made it one of the most special uh, experiences I've ever had playing video games. Um, and then you get in, that's, that's just the single player, you get into the multiplayer and you talk about me and Angel Bait doing, um, you know, raid after raid after raid after, like we played so much multiplayer and we did all the open world stuff together and that was hours of us having fun and doing really dumb things and then they put out pro gamers talking in chat saying uh, talking about undead nightmare which was like an entire game in itself where the world of red dead was infested with zombies and you got to play through this giant story um as marston uh trying to fight off zombies and it was just insane and Pro gamers asking if we're going to do Undead Nightmare after. I guess it depends on um, how much time between the end of this Let's Play and the release of Red Dead Redemption 2. If we're doing half an hour episodes, which we're trying to do for everything, um, Red Dead Redemption might go all the way to the release of the second one, so we might not have time, which is why I'm starting it now. Because I think the if my math is correct, I need like three or four months of time to put out all the LP episodes for Red Dead Redemption, depending on how crazy I get with the side stuff. But I'm going to try to do as much of the good content as I can uh, because this game definitely deserves another full playthrough. So uh, let's let's figure out. Not being mean, what took so long for part one of A Way Out? Oh, I just needed uh, the other LPs to stop. So we only run two Let's Plays at a time. Um, and before A Way Out started, I needed um, Assassin's Creed Rogue to end. 
It's a good question, though. Oh no, okay. We're in the middle of a game. Um, I need to quit and restart. Let's start over. Blackwater Station. I'm grateful, Mrs. Bush, that they are finally bringing civilization to this savage land. I could not agree with you more, my dear. My daddy settled this land, and I know he'll be looking down on us, pleased with how we help the natives. Yes, they've lost their land, but they've gained access to heaven. Do you mean unless an innocent receives communion, they're destined to go to hell? Uh, it hardly seems fair. Uh, what I mean to say, Jenny, is that there is a great deal of difference between an innocent and a savage. I never thought of it that way. Yes, they lived like animals, but they're happier now. Oh. Not only do people now have motor cars, Father, but I heard that pretty soon, we will be able to fly. No, only angels can fly, Jenny. No, no, apparently people can fly. Didn't you hear? Out in Kansas, a man even got a car to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I hardly think so, Jenny. Apparently, Mr. Johns wants to run for governor which is why he's so concerned with cleaning up the state. Nate Johns. Yes. His family is nothing but hillbilly trash that came here after the war. I don't want to be judgmental, but this state should not be ruled by such a disgusting family. A family without class. Apparently. The Johns family have made a lot of money, and he has a lot of friends in politics. Mrs. Bush, money isn't everything. There are many things that money cannot buy. It seems that money can buy voters, though. What you must remember, my dear, is that we have been brought here to spread the word. And the word and civilization, they are the same thing. They are the gifts 
It is the opportunity we have, the chance to live among people who are decent and who do not kill each other, and who let you worship in peace. Uh, it, it's so confusing, Father. Sometimes I find it impossible to make the distinction between a loving act and a hateful one. I mean, they often seem to be the same thing. Yes, Jenny, it, it is confusing. But you only have to ask me if you need help. Indeed. Well, here we are, Mrs. Bush. <gasps> Armadillo. Armadiller. We're here. There's a guy spooping up there with some binoculars. To run all day, to sprint, quickly tap A. Everything is shaking, Pro Gamer says. Definitely looks really good on our end. Maybe try turning the settings down if you can. Or turning zero latency off. See if that helps you. Alright, Armadillo Station. Blip on your map indicates a mission objective. Head to the yellow circle on your map. Ain't you looking great this evening? Who are you, prospector? Read about it right here. What? Can I read about it? No, I probably have to do this. Objective first. <laughs> All right. Let's see what's going on in the saloon. friends but pleased to meet you Jake I got the horses saddled up and ready out front all right God this game looks great. I can't believe this game is as old as it is. I thought you was in a hurry to get to the fort! Mighty fine evening. All righty, Mr. Marston, let's get. Yeah, yeah. Let's get. Is that right? Take it slow on the way out of town. No need to kick up a lot of dust. Are you 
planning on spending any time in Armadillo, Mr. Marston? I doubt it. I ain't planning on staying very long. Well, if you're fixing for some female company, you can do a lot worse than Armadillo. Fine as cream gravy they are. Not like Thieves Landing. Dang, those girls ain't even fit for a drinking man to hold up with. I'm a married man, I'm afraid. Ain't we all? One of my favorite things about this game is yeah. you just hold A to oh, keep up with your partner right, so you don't Saint have to Thomas. like Do you know him? I think I heard his name. Says he got a telegram from Be worried about keeping up the speed or maintaining a speed with my business. That's right. Follow quests or It's really great. You ain't very talkative, are you? Nope. I'm just chewing the dog, mister. It's how I am. I don't mean nothing by it. Trust me. There's things you better off not knowing. I'll tell you, Mr. Marston, those coyotes eat better than I do. <laughs> Almost there, Mr. Marston. Just over this hill. Almost there. Listen, mister, this here is what's left of Fort Mercer. Some gang rode in and took the place over. So I understand. This is where we part ways, friend. You have yourself a good time. <laughs> oh, I will. Sneaky, little sneaky sneak. Whoop. think I was born yesterday. You always did think I was an idiot. That ain't fair, Bill. You were as my brother. I've come to try to save you. <laughs> oh. oh. Do I look like I need saving? Bill, please. They want to kill us all. I can help you. Well, you never tried to save me before. I don't think he means that kind you of saving. Seemed to save yourself. Bill, I implore you think about this. <laughs> you implore me? <laughs> you implore me. You always were one for fancy words. <laughs> oh. Well, things are different. I hope they got the same voice actors for the second one. Now I'm in charge. No more Dutch. And no more or you. I implore you. I I implore you to go back and tell them to send someone just a little bit more impressive next time. Well, <laughs> Oh, oh shit. 
for ya. That went well. It's a good start, Mr. Marston. Don't put your gun down. Also, how did he get that much farther away from the gate? Someone must have moved him. Maybe the vultures did it. New friends, old problems. God damn it, I love this game. Well, you're alive. So it would seem. So, how do you feel? I don't know the polite like word. Like I've been it. shot? I do. Stupid is the word we use around here. What were you doing? I was. Oh. I was doing something stupid. Well, you'll be okay. Once you didn't die, the doctor said you'd be fine. He got the bullets out a couple days ago. Good. It cost us $15. I'm sorry, madam. Should have left me there to die. Did you want to die? I mean, was that it? Was that why you went straight out to Fort Mercer and picked a fight with the worst bandit in the county? To die, Mr. Er, Mr. Marston. John Marston. Bonnie McFarlane. Miss Bonnie McFarlane. Well, you may be right, Miss McFarlane. I don't know. Huh. So what were you doing? I was trying to give Mr. Williamson a chance for old time's sake. You know Bill Williamson? Knew him. Long time ago. Well, what was he like? Dumb. Just like you. Thank you, miss. <laughs> See my hat? I have. And, uh, what will you do now? Now I'm gonna take my time and go after him the less kind way. Well, that sounds very fun, Mr. Marston. Quite heroic, just like in those penny dreadfuls my brother used to read. Meanwhile, if you'll excuse me, I've got a ranch to run. Of course, if you're feeling better, why not take a ride with me later and help me patrol the perimeter? You can earn back some of that money we wasted on doctor's bills. Of course. And thank you for saving my life, I mean. Next time, Mr. Marston, I strongly recommend you don't try to lose it quite so earnestly. <laughs> I'll bear that in mind. Well, hello there. Been shout. Join Bonnie. Can I? Nope. Pro gamer says, "What do you call a magic owl?" Houdini. hear another joke go for it better be good I mean even if it's not good it's kind of my kind of joke but
Cheese grater equals, I know it's cheesy, but I feel great. Oh. Is that like you call someone a cheese grater? Or you call a joke a cheese grater? My kind of jokes are all cheese graters. Alright. Let's look. I know there's a lot of stuff to unlock as far as outfits, uh, weapons, stuff like that goes. Most of these are undiscovered. Deadly Assassin. Shoot Coots, search Coots Chapel, complete Twin Rocks Hideout, capture Kill Mo Van Bar, win a duel in Armadillo, complete American Appetites Stranger's Task. All right. The rest of them we have to find like one scrap or something um, before. Cattleman Revolver, pretty weak. Nice little knife. And just in case anyone needs reminding, this game is gigantic. Map of the Western Border States, 1910. Right now we're at the McFarlane's Ranch. You can see where the train is located on the tracks pretty much at all times, which is weird. I don't know how you get that information. Uh, yeah, let's go see what Bonnie's doing. Mr. Marston, back in the land of the living, I see. Figured it's about time I started paying back that $15. I sure can use an extra pair of hands around here. Let's see if we can get you back in the saddle. the foreman's office. It's also where we lock up good-for-nothing outlaws such as yourself. I'm happy enough with my current quarters right now, Miss McFarland. <laughs> okay, let's see if you can still ride a horse. Oh, it's a beautiful horse. Come on, time for you to see what a real ranch looks like. Kind of want you to tie a person and then put them on the track. Oh, to get the dastardly achievement? I already have that achievement. But yeah, we can do that a little bit later. To your right is the general store. You won't find Parisian high fashion, but it's good for the essentials. Very convenient. I don't think I've ever seen a ranch with its own store before. Greetings. And here's the corral. This one's for the horses. What do you think? I'm no expert, but it certainly looks like a fine corral. I suspect you've stolen more horses than you've broken. Now where'd you get such an idea? First impressions are hard to erase. That's an achievement, says Pro Gamer. Yeah, it's That's called Dastardly. Sure have you have to watch them the get hit by the train, though. Finished, bringing in all sorts of new folk like yourself. Is that such a bad thing? Change is only good when it makes things better. Oh no, I got stuck on a fence. Come on, Mr. Marston, pick up the pipe. The shade being thrown between these two characters is ridiculous. Yeah, Bonnie doesn't take much shit. That's the barn over there. Paul built it himself when I was just a little girl. Easy. And here we are, back at the house. For a while before we head out on patrol. You'll get no complaints from me, Miss McFarland. <laughs> Come on, you can only save one horse at a time. <sighs> How about a cold drink, Mr. Marston? Thank you, ma'am. Getting shot, then riding a horse seems to take it out of you. <laughs> I could use a rest. Sure. Come on in. I'll show you the house, and then you can sit for a while. Thank you. I don't know why she's being so nice. 
Mr. Marston. Miss McFarland. Remember me telling you about the trouble we've been having with rustlers and other undesirables? I do. Will you help me keep watch on the property line this evening? Sure. I want to see just who is trespassing on our land. This is a fine weapon. Come, let's head out. The country is really beautiful at around this time. I like Bonnie. We best get moving. This is a dangerous Got the repeater time car behind. Let's go. Keep your eyes open and try not to get yourself shot again. Shady. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I feel a lot happier someone's along with me. I feel a lot happier now I got a rifle. Well, mm -hmm. with your trigger itch and my feminine intuition, we should make quite a team. <laughs> 